Hey guys and welcome back. Um, this is going to be a more of an unusual type of video that I've done like I've done in the past where it uh, consists of ducks. But um, today I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to do a little cooking video. Uh, today is August 11th. The year is 2020. And it's a special day for me. Today is my wife and I's 32nd wedding anniversary. And because of Corona and the virus and the uh, restaurants won't let you come in without a mask and all this mess, uh, she asked me if I would cook her one of her favorite meals, and that is a low country shrimp boil. Um, so in a, in a sh low country shrimp bowl is no different from any other bowl that you've done. Uh, there's nothing probably any different than you've seen others do. Um, but I am going to do it, and I might as well video it while I'm doing it uh, and have some fun with it. So um, stick around, and we're going to get this boil going. Y'all take, stay tuned. Okay, guys, well, I'm fixing to uh, start getting this boil together. And the very first thing is uh, you're going to need a beer, okay? You're going to need a beer. And... Um, yeah, you say, well, what is the beer for? Well, the beer's to drink. You can't have a boil without a beer. So, I do have my fire going. And the very first thing that I'm going to put in the boil is uh, I've already halved up. I'm going to put two lemons. I just halved them up. Uh, you can squeeze some of the juice out of them if you want. Um, that's fine. Okay. Second thing that I'm going to put in there is a whole stick of butter. And pop that in there. And then I'm going to use some Old Bay. Um, that's about how much I have left. I'll put that in there. I think I'm gonna need a little bit more. We got a pretty big pot here. There you go. That looks to be good. Now, one of the things that I forgot to add and earlier was some bay leaves. So I've got uh, four or five bay leaves in there as well. Okay, let's take a look at it. Oh yeah, we're boiling. So... What I have here, and hopefully you can see that, is some potatoes and some corn and sausage and I, I'm just making this for me and my wife so I'm gonna put the potatoes in and I'm gonna put the corn in now this is fresh corn and these are red potatoes all right and then I'm going to bring that back to a boil. I'm going to let that cook for about 15, 20 minutes. And I'm going to put this sausage back in the house so the flies don't get on them. Okay, it's been about 15 minutes. And I'm going to drop the sausage in. Again, I'm just doing this for me and my wife, so it's not a whole lot of food. It's enough for us. Won't take that sausage long to cook. So I'm going to give it about five minutes. And then I'm going to put the shrimp and crabs in. Be right back. Alrighty, well it's been about five minutes. Sausage looks like it's cooking up really well. 
And I've got about three clusters of crab legs. And I'm going to drop them in. Like I said, this is just for me and my wife. We don't need a whole lot. Get in there. There you go. And we're going to let that cook up for about, about five minutes. Anyway, we'll see you in a little bit. All right, it's been about five minutes. Oh, yeah, it's looking good. Now for the coup de gras. I got about a pound, pound and a half of large shrimp. I'm just going to dump that in there. There we go. Just leave the top off of it. I'm going to bring it back to a boil and then cut it off. You can see the Hopefully you can see it. It's getting kind of dark out here, but you got the old bay and you see kind of a little grease from the butter and the sausage. The sausage is all plumped up. You got the lemon in there. All right. All right, we'll be... Well, we still got a few more minutes with the shrimp, but what I like to do now is I like to uh, go ahead and just uh, turn the heat off it's hot enough water it'll cook the shrimp really nicely give it about three to three to five minutes I mean it should be just nice be should really nice all right well it looks like it's about done and I'm gonna move the camera over just a little bit and I'm gonna pour it in that black Pan. I'll get y'all a closer up shot here in a little bit. Ooh, that steam's hot. Well, sorry about that, guys. I had to go and get some pot holders. The little rags that we're using just what quite doing the trick there we go got everything out of there put it back in put the top on it we'll do a clean of that tomorrow let me see if I can get you a closer shot There we go. My wife's in there. She's making some cheese cheddar biscuits. And I know this isn't the sexiest thing for an anniversary dinner, but it's what my wife wanted. It's Again, it's August 11th. It's our 32nd wedding anniversary. And whatever my wife wants, I'm gonna get four because she knows in 31 days 30 days and a wake up I'm gonna start teal hunting anyway hope y'all enjoyed this little video y'all take care and we'll see y'all next time on daddy duck 365